Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while. I've just got Angus down for his morning nap and I thought I would just sit here with my coffee and talk to you with my semi-non-existent voice. Yeah, it's been a while. Let's catch you up. It's been so long that now Angus is six months old. That's crazy. He is doing so well. He's amazing. He just... It's just so easy. Well, it's easy until the night time. He does not sleep. My children just don't sleep. And so we are a household running on no sleep. Mia tends to go to bed about 7, goes to sleep at 7.30, 8 o'clock. And then wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning. And Angus kind of sleeps in like 20 minute intervals. <laughs> no, he sleeps for a couple of hours at a time. Um, still feeds two times through the night. I tend to try not to feed him and just comfort him to sleep. We have tried so many different things though <laughs> at this stage that you just do whatever to try and get some sleep. And so we've had to kind of divide and conquer. Ingmar sleeps in with Mia in the sofa bed and I deal with Angus and it is not an ideal situation but it's survival mode and that's where we're at. I am absolutely at the point where I am ready to build him a cot and put him through in a separate room which is what we did with with Mia at six months so my foggy mum brain is probably forgetting what she was like because in my head she was just ready for it and it was lovely but actually it was probably a nightmare as well but other than that he is doing amazingly he is weaning and eating everything in sight he devours his three meals a day which is crazy that he's not sleeping because he's eating so much feeding well and on the move and he just has oodles of energy. He's always been strong, but he is now crawling, crawling backwards. He's ready to move everywhere and chase after his sister. She is absolutely fantastic and dotes on him and he is so excited every time that she comes in, bouncing into the bedroom at six in the morning to jump all over him. The two of them are just great together and it's just, it's, I feel so lucky. I am in no way moaning about any of this or complaining about the lack of sleep because I know how short this is. It does pass and it passes relatively quickly, um, not when you're in it, but I know that this does pass and that I will look back and kind of miss these days. It's hard to say when you are this sleep deprived, but I will miss these days. And coffee is what's getting me through. Um, Ingemar is doing amazingly. He is surviving on very little sleep and still going into work. He works quite strange specific hours. Although working till six o'clock is quite a common thing, especially back in the UK. Here in Iceland where they promote and try to honour family lifestyle, it is difficult when a company says that. Pretty much the whole of the winter where I really was struggling to get Mia from leg Scully, bring her home, play for an hour, get some food into her, get her and Angus dressed to go back outside in the dark, in the snow and howling gales to drive to go and pick up Ingemar at six o'clock to come home to have family dinner and then get them ready to go to bed so he would at least have some time with them before sleep and it just got really really difficult and I was exhausted from it and the toddler tantrums and just bribing her really <laughs> and there wasn't really an easier option than us picking him up anyway so now it is summertime we invested in an e-bike which is great fun and I'm so excited and I'm looking forward to getting some time to actually be on it myself at the weekend or whenever. At the moment, Ingmar's enjoying it. I have the car, it gives us the freedom throughout the day to go off to playgroups and music groups and do whatever we're going to be doing. And it means that I can go and get Mia whenever is needed as well. So that's kind of a big change in our family lifestyle and has made my evening so much easier. It means that I can actually spend a bit more time with the kids in the evening preparing dinner and getting them um, fed and washed and doing the evening routine. I have not been on the e-bike because for those of you who follow me on Instagram you'll probably know I 
broke my tailbone in birth with Angus. <laughs> my children, my children do delightful things to you in birth. Um, it is still fractured and hasn't actually, I've not completely recovered yet. The x-ray that I just had showed that it is healed. My physio confirmed that it's still fractured. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, to me it feels like a really, really bruised bone and so it's very difficult to sit. I'm kind of sitting on my side, on a bum cheek right now. So yeah, being on an e-bike at the moment would, would be a bit of a challenge. So I'm looking forward to going on it later on. I have also <laughs> broken a toe. Pregnancy at 40, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't really that much of a problem. But postpartum was a lot more, well, let's just say it was slower to recover from. And uh, I just feel like I'm falling apart now. <laughs> I've actually, because of sleep deprivation, I've got a list on my phone to catch you up on. So I'm just gonna quickly look through that and just tell you what I've got. Mia is gonna be four next month. That's that's one of the alarming points I've put on here. How is she gonna be four? It's crazy, isn't it? So we've been talking about what she wants to do for her birthday and yeah, just kind of starting to plan it, which is super exciting that she understands and she kind of grasped the concept that it's it's coming up in the summertime and that she can have a party, she can select what we do at the party and what she wants for her birthday and all that kind of thing. So that's really exciting. Kind of winding down for summer now, the summer holidays, and we have booked to fly over to Scotland. Mia will be off for, I think it's five or six weeks over the summer holidays. So we better start planning some fun things there. Um, Ingmar will take his paternity leave then so that we can actually spend time together and I can possibly get back to doing a bit more work. And what else? Yeah, he, he can bond with his child. <laughs> That's what paternity is for. And maybe we'll actually go off and see a bit more of Iceland, which will be really exciting. We had my sister over last weekend, which was so nice to see her. She brought her older son as well, who is nine months older than Mia. So them playing together and having a sleepover together was great fun. We kind of just hung out, we chatted, caught up, went downtown and it was so nice to wander around the streets of downtown because I hardly ever go these days and just like grab a coffee and kind of, you know, do all the Icelandic things, just like chilling with an ice cream downtown, parking Angus outside the coffee shop whilst we go in and him having a nice sleep in his big cosy 66 degrees north sleeping bag and we brought the bike for my little nephew so he could cycle around and it was just really cool just seeing all the all the houses that I tend to draw and sketch. Um, so it was actually really nice to get back in the vibe of Reykjavik Sketcher. And speaking of, I have opened up an Instagram account for Reykjavik Sketcher now. So I'm going to stick the handle on the screen here. Go and check it out. Give us a follow. Check out the prints and sketches in my shop as well. If you're a big fan of Iceland and want a little memento, they make the ideal present. So a little self plug there. And you might have noticed that I've changed the name of this channel to my name. I've been thinking a lot about this what direction I want kind of my going back to work after uh, this maternity leave, what kind of direction I want to go in, I want to take the channel and my content and just the, you know, the idea of building a brand, a self brand, changing it to my name makes it much easier for me to talk about any topic and it kind of encourages me to film then because I think I've been a bit hesitant about putting too much content online recently. I don't know, second baby kind of, there was something that, something shifted and I want to not necessarily protect my children because I do put them online, I'm quite happy doing it. And it is really, really nice to record our journey and our family life and share it with you guys. But there are a few things that have just kind of made me be a bit more hesitant. A couple of things that happened in pregnancy that kind of freaked me out on Instagram, people messaging that were like, just really weird people. There are a lot of strangers on the internet and even though I have a small following, it's very much open to anyone and anyone can see our life. And 
I guess I just want to be a bit more protective of my children and as Mia gets older and starts kind of going to school then to respect her privacy as well so I guess you kind of understand. One part of that is because we've moved house which isn't really a recent thing but I haven't I haven't even shown you. One of the big amazing factors about our new home is that we have a whole wall of windows which is south facing and brings in an amazing amount of natural light and is fantastic but it pretty much gives the game away about where we live. <laughs> so if you live in Reykjavik and you saw our view you pretty much know and we also do drive a very obvious car. People probably already know where we live which is something that is obviously not a good idea to put on the internet. I'm a little bit unsure about filming too much in here as well. I'm not quite sure how much of the view I want to show because it's an amazing view. Um, our, our new home is beautiful and I love it so much. I feel so at home here and I want to show it off to you but there's also that kind of privacy factor as well so I'm still kind of in two minds about that. I've been thinking about going back to work so as a self-employed working mum thinking about what that means and although with Mia I managed to kind of keep up vlogs and do commissions and keep running the shop and the website with two it's so much more work the idea of balance is just out the window and it's all about integration integrating family and work somehow together it's kind of working apart from the fact that I'm not really able to create as much content as I used to or as I want to and somehow we're at six months and I've not really done much so I really really want to get back to sharing content and recording our life so that we can just look back on it because Mia loves watching on the day on the telly she calls it um watching her as a baby in her old home okay i'm gonna leave this little update here because i think ang's gonna wake up from his nap soon and really i need to start organizing the place and getting some lunch on so thank you very much for watching please feel free to subscribe hit the like button to encourage me to post more i'm going to try and set out to film a little house tour for you so you can see what our new place looks like and uh, we will see you in another video soon. Bye guys!